Hello everyone, this is Zora Water. Welcome back to another episode of Dot Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth. In the last episode, from what I can recall, because it's been a while since I recorded, Gaspard was all sad and he feels like he wants to quit the world. Sylvus is going to help him out, which means we can't actually do stuff with Sylvus. Which means we're kind of screwed for the arena for now. Um, and... We went over to Kestrel to clear up the situation, and we're gonna have to fight Bordeaux, apparently. So before we go into the world, remember that thread that I rep rep replied to? Blah, blah, blah. Replied to about the confusing event? Well, there's a little bit more information. We got the keywords, Heartless Starting Pilgrim. And apparently no one else really could figure out what the heck's going on. If you recall this one... This event, this confusing event that someone came across is like an empty dungeon and it just said, Bring me the offering. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. I will try to make, I will try to fit it in this episode, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just gonna do the quests from the quest jobs because I have been neglecting those and I'm obviously over love for them, but I still wanna show them off. So yeah, this is gonna be quest the entire episode. So, you want to get stronger, huh? Yeah. And now is the time to awaken the true power as an adept rogue. You mean job extension? You bet. With a job extension, you will be able to gain access to higher class jobs. All you need to do is complete a special quest. I know that already. It's been so long I'd forgotten about it. Long time, huh? Please, you don't have to say it. Huh? I know. I know all about it, kid. You don't have to tell me. I already know about one or two or three or four of your old immature memories. That's too damn many. How many have you got? Besides, I don't have any old immature memories. <laughs> don't be shy now. Anyway, gather information from mails and forums, then go to the quest shop. Then, accept the special quest. Fine. Right now, I need all the power I can get. Alright, so apparently there is now a job extension quest. For some reason in this game, job extensions can only be can only happen at certain times, which is very inconvenient if you're a new player and you're at the level of when you can do a job extension. This can only happen for Adept Rogues, they are the only ones that can change their classes because they have to set three classes in the first place. So, as much as I want to do that, we have one problem. I'm level 15! If I were to log out and read that email, it says you would at least need to be level 20. If you go to the quest shop, you need to be at least level 20. So I... There's a reason why I'm doing these quests. The, the quests uh, right now. Blah, be, bad. It is because I am way under leveled when with the game, what the actual crap here ups. Um, basically I'm way under leveled to the point where the game's like, Hey you, stupid, go train. So, I'm gonna have to. Because Syllabus is helping Gaspard though, I can't level him up. Which means when we do get him and we have to continue on with the arena with him, he's gonna be severely underleveled and I'm gonna have to fix that. And the worst part is, the only two available are Adelie and Pyrrhos. Kill me now. Anyways. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the quest shop. We cannot accept that job extension quest right now. However, there are, I believe, three or four different quests that I should have done when I was at, at that appropriate level. But it's not too bad as of right now, honestly. It's not too bad, but at the same time, it's... I probably should have done it when I was at that level. So over here at the quest shop, accept job. We have three quests. The last one is the job extension quest. Do not take it. If you try to take it, it's not gonna allow you because you are not level. 
you're not level two, and you're not, and you, have to, you also have to do by yourself. Blah blah blah. All right, so the first one we're gonna do is the steam scientist invention, Doctor Ketball. We're just doing the quest information, and let us do this quest. You wish to accept this quest? Please wait one moment. Hello, this is a quest shop. Thank you for your patronage. We have some adventurers here who have accepted your quest. <clears throat> it is a pleasure to meet you. Hmm. I am Dr. Keppel. I work day and night to advance steam technology. But that's enough for introductions. Something terrible has happened and I need your help. Hmm. I'm currently working on the development of my steam-powered robot, Knuckle Man. When I was conducting startup tests on the prototype on, in the field, it suddenly became inactive. But while I was investigating the cause for the malfunction, it suddenly attacked me. I, it was going to bash me like a pancake. I was sure, like I, I was sure, I was a dead man or dead vital vista, whatever one you want. Hmm. So anyways, the prototype was a complete failure. However, all of my Knuckle Man's research is stored in the prototype's electronic brain. I won't be able to continue my research without that data. <clears throat> so, I want you to retrieve Knuckle Man's memory module for me. You don't want to be a part of a dangerous job? How the heck is this dangerous, Haseo? Don't worry, it won't be that dangerous. Take these! Take these with you! It's dangerous to go alone! Take these! <clears throat> they are capable of emitting powerful magnetic waves. Place them so that they're surrounding Knuckle Man. The waves emitting will decrease Knuckle Man's physical abilities. You should be able to retrieve Knuckle Man's me memory module once it's been slowed down. Just using one of them will have an effect. But it won't be as good as when all three are used. Unfortunately, there is a height restriction for the device's usage. You must place them higher than the base of Knuckle Man's feet or it won't be effective. Top, top of a, snow, a small hill should be about just the right height. Well then, I pray for your success. So we just set the items on top of the hills, right? A steam robot, you say? I can feel it! I can feel the blazing spirit! Shoot me now. Just shoot me now, honestly. Okay, so this, I think it was like level 8 quest. <laughs> yeah, we're level 15. We're gonna do this easily. However, I do want to show... Pyros, what the heck are you doing? I do want to show where you're supposed to put the items. So this, this will take a little bit just because we have to walk around. And I do want to level up, so I will have to fight enemies. I'll try to cut out as much as I can. However, well, actually, I'm gonna have to wait because there's probably a cutscene the moment we get over there. Uh, I believe... I believe this is the one we need to go to? Maybe. Essential Idling... Idling? Idling Old World. Alright, so, where is the Knuckle Man? Let's look for a hill first. Swift and fierce as lightning, Pyrrhus the Third is here! Okay, so I want to tell you of... Um... I didn't do that, by the way. That can actually happen if you accidentally push the analog stick in a certain direction while your system's starting, or when it's... In, I guess it's when it's in the loading screen? I'm not entirely sure. There are three hills, you need to go into those three hills to actually plant those devices and weaken Knuckle Man because Knuckle Man's kind of tough when you're not doing this over level. So while we're gonna do that, I want to rant for a second here. Not about the game, but about something that just happened recently. Um, I'm recording this the week after Con Bravo, which is a convention in Ontario, Canada. Uh, we went there because, well, I asked my parents, and they wanted to go to Canada. And I was like, hey, since your guys are going to Canada, can I come along? And can we actually, um, what the? Okay, can can I go to this convention in Canada? And they're like, okay. 
Apparently, my dad didn't really get the memo properly, and he didn't. He they decided not to do the big old trip to Canada, other than just going to Toronto while I was in Hamilton and at the convention. So I feel kind of bad. Anyways, um, someone there who I admired and who got me into Let's Play, or well, two of them actually, were there, and it. I was actually really discouraged by Dot Hack because I had to re-record. I did a lot of re-recording in these in this episode and the past episode and I got very discouraged and there's a cutscene here so it's gonna interrupt me great so this is the hill right the first one is set ha, you won't need to rely on that I'll pulverize this knuckle man with a single blow yes I know we can heroes but I'm just doing this because the quest told me to so screw you with this, Knuckle Man's defense power is decreased. Anyways, back to my rant. Yes, you're gonna find monsters on all three hills. Get used to it. So, while I was at the convention, I decided to go to the Runaway Guy's Storm Controller Panel. And I'm like, you know, I might as well give it a shot. I'm probably gonna, you know, be one of those many people that get chosen, and they will, they will, they will, come here you, come here you. Stupid unlucky animal. Anyways, so I go there. I eventually did get picked, to my surprise. I picked number six on the ten panels or something that I could choose from. I got probably one of the worst ones other than the brutal question. It was a screenshot of a certain game that I completely forgot about now because I didn't recite it in my head over and over because I can't hold a grudge to save my life. This game apparently was not released in America, I believe. It, why does it keep on freezing like that, huh? It was not released in America, so, and you would really not know about it unless... Well, you looked it up, I guess. You really wouldn't know about it, and this was added, apparently, I believe, the day before the actual panel, which was, I think, Friday. Basically, it was added at the very last minute, and I just so happened to pick it. And for those of you who know the Runaway Guide, you would think this was Proton John who put it up. Oh no, before I, before I decided to answer I don't have a clue what this is, Proton John's all like, and be, by the way, this 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 screenshot here, it wasn't picked by me. It was picked by Chucker Conroy. Yeah. Chucker Conroy is one of, one of the two Let's Players, other than Masei Nell, that I really admire that they actually managed to get me into Let's Playing to actually start this up. And he screwed me over. I I wish I could hold a grudge, but I can't. And I still love him. And I ah, beta, idiot, babe, yeah. That's two, two. Two down. Only one more to go. I told you, there's no need for that. Just leave it all up to me. Yes, yes, I know, Pyros, but I'm still doing this because the quest told me to. So screw you. With this, Knuckle Man's attack power is decreased. Like, literally, we are level 15, we could literally go up to this thing and kick it. We could kick it and it would die. Maybe not that quickly, but yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to get that off my chest, because it's been nagging at me for a few days, and eventually I'm like, screw it. It's just really bad luck. One of these days, I will exact some form of revenge on him. With permission, of course, but I will exact some form of revenge, and I will enjoy every moment of it. Anyways, back to the quest. So, like I said, I've been discouraged of doing these videos because I have done a lot of re-recording on these episodes. This one, as well as the one before it, and, um, well, the, the, I, I'm re-recording this one because I actually got stuck. Why are you freezing? What the heck, game? I actually got stuck. When, remember when I said that the game does not punish you? I might have lied a little bit. This oh, this is only taken into the account of you actually save. Because I don't save during my episodes, or I don't save during the um during the episode, I if I, if something were to go awry and I got a game over, I would have to do that entire episode all over again happened to me in this episode, which is why I'm training right now. I'm doing these quests instead of doing what I want to do beforehand. Basically what happened, I got to level 20, 
And immediately I went to what happens after we get to level 20 and do the job advancement. Oh boy. All I know is that Adelie died really quickly. And I could have... It, if I, it, it took me a while, but I could have done it. But I kept on running out of SP. And I kept on getting stunned. And I got rengekied. It was not fun. Last one. You did it! All three have been set! Ah! I told you it's unnecessary! Yes, Pyros, I know! But yeah, I got- I quite literally got stuck. So that's why I'm de dedicating this entire episode to quests, and within said quests, I will be battling monsters and hopefully leveling up. I think I actually did level- no, I did not level up. How shameful. Well, then again, this is a level 8, level 9 quest, so I'm not that surprised whatsoever. Anyways, we have gotten the last the wave device, so now we just have to fight Knuckle Man himself, which is right here. And no, I don't think we can surprise attack him, sadly. This is the Knuckle Man. Let's go. We'll finish this quick. Alrighty, so here is Knuckle Man. He should be a cakewalk for us because we are level 15. Knuckle Man's extremely durable monster. Try destroying its armor. This is the introduction of. Armored enemies. I don't know if this is the introduction because this is gone for. I have re recorded this far too much for me to even know what is new and what is not. Armored enemies have a secondary HP bar, I guess you could say. That is basically the, their armor bar. While that bar is completely filled up, um, any monster, any monster who has that bar will not take as much damage as you expect. They will take about 1 to 3 damage, maybe 5 if you're lucky. But basically the armor will protect them. I believe magic can get bypassed. It. I'm not entirely sure because I don't really pay attention, but I don't think so. What you have to do is some skills are specifically specifically used for piercing through armor. And some certain classes as well as weapons are specifically used to actually get past that armor, which will decrease the armor HP bar even like more quickly. So, there's your armored enemies. They're not that bad, especially since Haseo is actually equipped to, well, spoiler alert, he's at, his classes will enable him to fight against armored enemies relatively well. So now we got the um, uh, memory module, and now we just need to get away from this quest, and we got an Asian Mongo. How fitting. And yes, I know I have one unread mail. Shut up. It's done. I should go back to the quest shop to report it. Whoa. Thank you for retrieving the memory module for me. I will use the lessons I've learned from Knuckle Man's Rampage for future research. <clears throat> By the way, are you planning on staying in town? My home is in the Harbor District. Come visit me if you ever have the chance. Hmm. Well then, farewell. Alright, so that's one of the three quests that we have finished. And we get Text of Power for this, which I should probably give to Haseo when I have the chance. The second one is Animal Mania by Dr. Powell, level 13, assist me in my research of the Black Sleipner? I have no idea how to say that. I have no idea how to say that at all. So, let us accept this quest for Screaming Returning Prince- WHAT?! Screaming Returning Princess! Um, Princess Peach or Princess Zelda, anybody? If you wish to accept this quest, please wait one moment. Hello, this is the quest shop. Thank you for your patronage. We have some adventurers here who have accepted your quest. Hey. How are you doing? My name is Dr. Pow. I'm conducting research on lucky animals. Do you know anything about them? They're strange animals that appear in areas and grant you a different type of luck when you capture them. Wow. My current interest lies in the Black Sleipner. It's extremely timid. If there are monsters nearby, the Black Sleipner will not show itself. But once all the monsters in the area are defeated, I'm certain it will relax and show itself. Here. I want you to put this on to the Black Sleipner. Okay. The charm will allow me to locate the Black Sleipner at any time. I'm just going to call it the Black Steed, my god. 
It will allow me to learn a great more deal about him. I'll pray for your success. Uh, that the success. <laughs> oh God, I can speak. Shut up. We have to attach the protective charm to the black slate mirror. Just leave it up to me, Pyrrhus the Third. The rest of you can take it easy and relax. So just kill all the monsters on the field, huh? That's my kind of mission. Must not chuck controller at screen. Uh, this one is actually freaking annoying. If you don't like training and you don't like fighting, just like I don't, because Maple Story ruined. Well, no, Maple Story and Endless Online ruined that experience for me. Therefore, I underlevel like a derp a derp, which gets me killed a lot. So, when they mean you have to kill every single enemy for the Black Steed to come out, yes, I'm calling it the Black Steed. Screw you all. They weren't kidding. I believe it also counts for the ones guarding treasure chests. It's gonna take a while. Like, oh my gosh. Let's start this. I can't wait to meet this black slave near. Storm the barricades! Let us find the legendary slave near! <laughs> what the heck, Pyrrhus? So, um, here is our map, not very big. You want to look everywhere, like everywhere. On the hills, at the treasure chest, of course. Around the fields, you just want to look everywhere. You have to kill every single monster on this god freaking area. And for that, and for that specific reason, because it'll be too troublesome for me to continuously cut it out, I am just gonna skip over, oh, not skip over this. I am gonna speed this up for you all, so you guys don't have to watch a bunch of me fighting and a bunch of me trying to figure out what to say. So, I will see you guys in just- I hate you! No, come here! Come here! I am going to kill you whether you like it or not. Anyways, they shouldn't take too long, because they are relatively lower than us. But either way, I'm gonna speed this up, so I will see you guys in just a moment. If they can stop stunning me, that'd be great. Oh crap! Okay, so interrupting the probably two second montage, honestly. Here we have my most hated type of enemies. Well, the chickadees aren't too bad, but um, no. These enemies are flying enemies. Flying enemies are probably one of the most annoying enemies you will ever see in this god freaking hacking game. Like their name, they fly. You can actually miss them. In most games, you can sit, you can hit blind enemies as if they were on the ground. No, in this game, you can actually downright miss them. It's free. It's just, uh... What's so different about them? Well, they have a little HP bar just like the armored enemies. That is their flight bar. As When their flight bar is still active and they're still flying around, not only can you miss them if, you're, if your attacks will not allow you to hit um, in the air, you can act... You t they only take one damage. I don't know if it's set... For the armor enemies, it's like 1 to 5 damage or something like that. From what I noticed, you don't... Relative, like, it's either that, or you literally just hit for 1 damage every time, and everything else just goes into the fly bar. And it's really freaking annoying. Especially if you miss them a lot. Luckily for us, Haseo does have an ability to deal with these things. Sparrow counter! You may recall Sparrow counter, um... How I was mentioning it, it does an aerial attack. Well, that's the purpose. It's used to hit flying enemies such as these guys. It can still potentially miss though, unless you're in a ring Geki. So that's fun. Oh yeah, and these chickadees, they are like the nob- uh, noblins. They're like the goblin rookies. They have an ability to call for more chickadees. If they manage to call them, you're gonna have to fight them all over again. Luckily for us, these are relative- they are lower level than us, so we can take them out very easily. However, if you have blind enemies that are around your level or higher, holy crap, it is really, really nerve-wracking trying to kill these derp derps So yeah, my, um, my suggestion honestly is to use Haseo's Sparrow Counter whenever possible until the flying enemies stop flying around. Because honestly, I'd rather give up a, a Rengeki if it means 
I'd rather give up on Rengeki if it means I can kill these things a lot freaking fast because otherwise it'll take forever. Anyways, that's all I'm gonna say about these little chickadees. So back to our little speed montage. You killed all the monsters. Huh. Is it gonna show? The look! It's the black steed! <laughs> No, seriously, I kind of gave up on uh, trying to figure out how to say that name now. Even though they said it a few times, I'm probably going to butcher it. So, apparently it's on that hill that we passed by a few walks away. Um, There's two different hills, though, so it might be on the longer one or the shorter one. We'll have to check. It looks like the beads on the other one. Crap. I cannot steer this thing worth crap. I can't wait for it to get upgraded in the future. I don't know when, though. That's the problem. It may be in this CD, maybe in another CD. That's what's annoying. So yeah, you have to kill every single freaking monster, and you have to kick this thing. Oh, that can be none other than the fatal black slate there. It's the black steed. So finally found it. We need to kick it. My God, he sounds so diabolical. He's like, we need to kick it. So anyways, I'm gonna go kick it. This thing's really fast, though, so you have to be careful. Come here, you! Pyros, you're- Pyros, get out of my way! Your body is blocking my view! I, I just wanna live alone in peace! I'll grant you good luck! So please, leave me be! Oh, now I feel kinda bad, especially since it sounds like Adley. It feels like I just kicked Adley! Holy crap, I'm a horrible person! Ooh, money, money, money! That was a hassle. It's gone! I wish I could've had more time with it. I'm surprised she didn't yell at us for kicking it. Ah, quite nicely done! An excellent kick! And he supports us. Now let's report to the quest shop to clear this quest. Oh wow, I'm gonna have so much fun trying to edit this. I don't know how- I don't know what time- Two emails? What the hell? I don't know what time this is gonna be at, so hopefully it's not gonna be too long. If it's too long, I'll just split it in half again. Just like I did with uh, Super Mario. Wow. You have you have made my day! I am quite happy you were successful! Now I'll be able to make more advancements in my lucky animal research. I must thank you. Whoa. Oh, that's right. My home is in the Alchemy District. I have often have worked for value valuable ventures such as yourself. I hope that you'll come and pay a visit when you have a chance. Hey. Well then, until we meet again. Alright, so that goes for the second mission. Wow, we got a lot of stuff in. Ah, oh, great. When you have 30 items already in your inventory, it's considered full, and you would have to either give up the item or switch it out. I am not giving up a text. Let's go with that. Um. Oh, crap. That's actually kind of good. I'm gonna give up some coupons, because I rarely buy anything from online player guild things. Guild shops, so let's go with that. So, our third quest is relatively simple, which is why I want to get this done really quickly. It's level 8. We don't have to fight a single monster if you have smoke screens. Have some smoke screens unless you want to fight the enemies here. If you want to fight the enemy here, go the heck ahead. You wish to accept this quest? Please wait one moment. Hello, this is the quest shop. Thank you for your patronage. We have some adventurers here who have accepted your quest. Oh my! Oh my! So you're the adventurers that want to accept my quest! Well, well, well. What a lovely group. Wonderful. I like it. I've decided to ask you lovelies to do some work for me. Oh no, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Bickman. Right now, I'm just a portrait artist, but don't worry, one day I'll be the greatest artist in the century. Oh my, what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> did you just really say tee -hee? <laughs> I mean, um, well, let me get right to the point. Have you ever heard of a snowstone? No, I didn't think so, because you're all just a bunch of commoners. I mean, well, a snowstone is a stone that can be used to create pigments for painting. 
I'm going to tell you where you can find them, and I want you to bring one back for me. If you find a small hill in the field, check the area around it. If you see something sparkling, it's most likely a snowstone. But listen, the stone itself is very delicate, just like me. <laughs> if you handle it roughly, it will melt and turn to vapor. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you in about five seconds. So be careful when you handle it. You can't go and fight monsters while it's in your possession. You can't ride on one of those bikes either. I'm counting on you, hon. Hugs and kisses, XXXOOO. Is that supposed to be a guy or a girl? That's exactly my thought. I thought it was a girl, honestly. So we can't ride a bike? Hmm, the snowstone, huh? And it shines, eh? Much like me! I'ma shoot you. So yeah, this one's very, very easy. If you want to do any, any fighting in this area, do not pick up the snowstone, because when you pick up the snowstone, you cannot fight or ride a bike or the thing will disappear from your inventory and you would have to pick it up again. And this one makes you leave the area. It won't automatically do it for you. So yeah, be careful. Creeping Fortune's Paradise. How appropriate. Okay then, where's that hill? I'm actually pretty good at looking for things. Please leave it to me! Let us proceed to a shining future! Oh, you're definitely shining, alright. So honestly, I'm just gonna run through this area because I have no intentions of getting into battles because this is very low level. And the last one did require us to fight enemies put those wave devices. However, this one does not. So real quickly, you see on your map, that little tiny hill on the other side, that's where we need to go. No, it's not the one right next to us. Oh no. What? Oh no. So if you ever get into a fight, just use a smoke screen. Simple as, simple as get to the smoke screen. You know, all might we get you away. Just try to avoid enemies because the smoke screen causes you to pause and yeah, that takes up a little bit of your time. So, let us not get stuck and quickly get over there. I really like this music though, it's really nice and peaceful for a game like this. I kinda wish they- I really wish that, uh, Cy I believe CyberCorp- uh, Corporation- CyberConnect was the one who really developed this game. I'm not entirely sure, might have been Bandai? One of those two. Whoever really made the, whoever actually was the head of development for this game, I really wish they add a lot more content to this. Cause they're trying to make this game into an MMORPG. This game really isn't an MMORPG. Cause the characters try to make it seem like it, it really isn't. Yeah. Anyways, here we got the snowstone vein. We get a snowstone. Almost as brilliant as me! Now we need to make sure we get back without meeting any monsters. We can't ride on the bike either. Okay, so you heard the man. All I can say is just keep on rotating your camera and keep an eye out. Because monsters will- if monsters notice you, they will approach you unless they're circling a treasure chest. If they notice you, they will have a question mark over their head. If they actually are about to initiate a battle, they will have an exclamation mark over their head. If you're fast enough, you can actually go into your inventory and use a smoke screen when they have that exclamation mark, but you have to be like super, super quick. Very quickly. I don't know if it's the moment you initiate in battle or the moment you get hit. I honestly can- oh crap. I honestly can say don't risk it. If if you can avoid a battle, avoid the battle entirely. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. So over here, um, screw it, I'm just gonna go straight ahead, honestly. Oh no, screw it, I am using this because I don't trust my well-being. I can actually- wait, crap, I could just- I could use a return fetter, couldn't I? But wait, wouldn't the game, like- I want to say I can use a return fighter, but I think the game might have a failsafe for that, so I'm not actually going to do that. 
either way, it was very done quickly. I hope to God this video isn't too much over 30 minutes, and if it is, I apologize profusely. Oh hey, I just couldn't wait any longer, so here I am. Hurry up and give it to me. Hand over to Snowstone. Oh, wonderful! This is an absolutely flawless snowstone. Thank you. I'll be able to paint some lovely portraits now. Ooh, I can feel my creative juices flowing. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. You can always find me painting portraits at the Bridge in the Alchemy District. Stop by and say hello sometime. I'd be happy to paint a portrait for free for a handsome boy like you, hun. Hehe. <laughs> Well then, bye-bye! Hugs and kisses! <laughs> I don't... Ah, oh, seriously? No, no, don't give it up, don't give it up. I normally don't have a problem with characters like that. But when that thing says teehee and gets all... Oh god, I feel so sorry for Haseo right now. Anyways, um, we have done all the available quests, except, wouldn't you know it, the one that we need to do for our job advancement. In the next episode, we're gonna have to do some training, so I'm gonna do that, um, weird offering quest that we picked up, and hopefully by then we will achieve two more levels and be able to do the job extension quest. I'll see you guys in the next episode, this is Zor Water, signing out.